Hi guys, Jenny here again with another video tutorial. Today I want to talk to you about routines and schedules. And as hard as this can be for adults to deal with changes in our routines, it's equally hard, if not more difficult, for young children. As young children really thrive on predictable and consistent routines that help them feel safe and secure, you know, in knowing what comes next. And so I'm going to help you today and how you can support your child in following a predictable, consistent routine. Um, but just thinking about like the parts of your day and the order in which you do them and creating something called a picture schedule. So I've made a little sample here and your day may look different, but this is just an example. And so what I've done is on pieces of paper, I drew a picture and wrote the word for each part of the day. So if the first part of your day is breakfast, this would be first on your schedule. So you might have like a picture of a bowl, uh, a glass and a spoon with the word breakfast. And so say maybe after breakfast, it's outside time. So, you know, I just drew a simple picture of a person with a sun and the words outside time. Then maybe after outside time, it's activity time. So that could be the part of the day where you choose an activity that we've sent you either through the weekly packets or the videos or to look at a read aloud and to spend that little bit of time with your preschooler doing that. And then after that, maybe it's playtime. You know, the time of day where your child can, you know, like a free play where they can choose what toy they wanna to play with, similar to our work time in the classroom. And of course, what always follows playtime cleanup time. <laughs> Not always the favorite of every child, but again, part of the routine and something that needs to happen. So as important as that consistent routine is, it's also to remember it's okay if changes need to happen. Um, just give children warning about it and let them know that the changes are coming. So say that after breakfast, you usually go outside, but today it's raining. So you might have to move outside time to later and maybe do activities after breakfast instead. So when you're displaying the routine in your home, you can find a place where you have enough room for it. And it doesn't have to be really big. Uh, so you can either display it horizontally from like left to right, or you could display it vertically, you know, from top to bottom, just whatever way that makes sense to you and your family. Um, one idea I saw was a family put it on their fridge with magnets so that they could easily change the times around. Speaking again of times like cleanup time, um, another tip for you is, you know, children have a hard time wanting to stop doing something that's fun to do something that they might not want to do. But if cleanup time is the part of your day that you have to do, it's always a good idea to give a time warning. So maybe if there's five more minutes left of playtime, you could say, remind your child, oh, five more minutes, and then it's gonna be time to stop playing and start cleaning. Um, so one more tip about routines and schedules for today is taking a particular part of your day and breaking it down even further. So the example I'm gonna use for this is like your bedtime routine. Um, so picture schedules, again, can be a really great way to reinforce the sequence of events of first we do this, then we do that, then we do this. And you can always keep referring back to these. Um, so maybe bath time is the first part of your routine. Um, then maybe you brush your teeth. And then after you brush your teeth, you get a story and then it's time to sleep, it's bedtime. So maybe if your child is resistant to brushing their teeth, but they like story time, you can refer back to them and remind them that, hey, I know you don't like brushing your teeth, but remember, <laughs> I can't find it. When we're done brushing our teeth, then it's gonna be book time again. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. I know it's hard and again, we're not, you don't have to try to recreate exactly preschool in your home. What you're doing is wonderful. And we appreciate so much all the time and effort that you've put into working with your preschooler and just being the best, doing what you can. You are enough. If you try out these daily routines, let us know how it went. You can always send us a picture or email us or drop us a message using Core at Home. Until next time, bye.